Welcome back to the Iron Man Road to Completionist Cave series. Beginning of week 13, day number 85, I uh, completed a court case, which was the Mime court case. Um, now have the Barrister Top, which is a lot of uh, uh, cases done. Let's open the mystery boxes. I uh, can't really complain about that since it's for free. And another 9k Herblor. Something fun here, using up two crystal keys. See if I have any luck at the crystal chest. Uh, nothing there. Uh, first crystal mother load shards for the account. Gonna go use those. Uh, see what I can get. Don't know how good this is, but a rush of blood damage enhancer. Uh, it seems like it'll be useful for the uh, one comp requirement that I need for rush of blood. So this weekend is the uh, Dungeoneering Winter Weekend, which means double Dungeoneering tokens. Uh, I don't have too much of a need for tokens, uh, just a few more things to buy. Um, but I figure I may as well go ahead and get the uh, Chaotic Crossbows, just because it'll be good to start racks with. Uh, better to do QBD with Dragonbane, uh, as opposed to like a Chaotic Staff. Um, so I'm going to go take advantage of that, push up to 95 Dungeoneering, and then, uh, I don't know, go on to normal grinding for the week. Alright, completed all of the desert easy and medium tasks, uh, putting that into Herblore and Herblore. Just did 94 magic, start of day oh, 86, whoops, and uh, still doing some dungeoneering. Uh, getting real close to my first 99 though. Uh, I was hoping to push for Untrimmed Slayer, but I don't know if that's going to be possible with how much uh, health XP I currently have. So, making a quick, quick uh, clip here. I've been grinding out that Dungeoneering so that I can finally buy a Chaotic Crossbow. There we go, now I just gotta get to the offhand, as well as uh, maybe a Demon Horn, uh, the Ring of Vigor, and the Scroll of Renewal here. Uh, which I think this is a comp requirement, but I'm not entirely sure. Already like 5pm, uh, getting close to daily reset on day 86, uh, but my Dungeoneering has been paying off. Let's see, that offhand chaotic crossbow. Alright, got both of those now, uh, dual chaotics, as well as the uh, chaotic staff. Uh, you can see here I'm about 402,000 dungeoneering left till 95 for the Garajo resource dungeon. Um, then I think I might go slay some QBD or something like that for fun. I don't have a Garador uh, Reaper task, which I, I could go do with Mage. Uh, then after that, hopefully I'll get QBD or Kriara or something, uh, so I can start getting the rest of my Armadil set. Um, maybe eventually get the Royal Crossbow. I think I'd prefer uh, Chaotix. I'm not sure which is better. Chaotix are a little more DPS, uh, where RCB would have a little bit more range. So I don't know which is best for um, like Rax, uh, but I'll figure that out before long. And uh, yeah, nice. I'm just so happy about this now. Uh, I actually have some decent range gear uh, above a hand cannon and a sun spear. I can't believe I've done all of these quests and I never upgraded to an Ava's accumulator. I still had an attractor on me. Oh, my water tiara was running low on charges, so I used a water rune on it, and it just consumed the entire stack of like 8,900 water charge. Water runes. Oh. Well, that happened, and finally, the end of probably one of the most annoying quests I've experienced, uh, do no evil. Uh, nice, a thieving level, which is everything I need for Clockwork Syringe, uh, and I have the full Cramulet unlocked now. Uh, I've added uh, everything, the monkeys, ghosts, cats, and camels. Um, yeah, that's finally done. Also, my new daily challenge is uh, Dungeoneering, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, you can see I'm, I'm still about 402k away uh, from 95 Dungeoneering, but this will get about half of that taken care of. Turning in a new daily challenge. It's uh, Dungeoneering. I extended it. That's exactly what I was hoping for. 196k almost. Uh, it leaves me at 136k left to go for the Garajo Resource Dungeon. And, uh... Let's see, I'm on floor 41, I've got six more floors to go before I have to prestige again. think I can get this, real quick. Also, just got uh, two lacquer, uh, if it'll uh, show up, 
Where is it at? There we go. Just got two lacquer from a mission. That was like 80% uh, chance to succeed, or like 67%, I think, to succeed. Uh, so it was pretty good. Um, don't have any special voyage. Need to collect some more bamboo, which is why I have bamboo missions here. Uh, but my ports is progressing quite a lot. Uh, I need to collect some cherrywood, some bamboo, and then I can upgrade all of my buildings once more. Um, and then I just have to get into the next region for the next type of resource, the uh, jade. Yeah, and keep uh, going through these. Let's see. Uh, yeah, and I'm still looking to upgrade all of my crew and stuff. I've still got some of these, like, five or six hundred guys. And these, like, really, uh, like, second area eastern overseers I need to replace with bureaucrats and... Yeah, stuff. Almost died to the special attack on that boss because I wasn't paying attention. Uh, <laughs> but, so excited. Oh, well, uh, tier 99 Battle Axe. Uh, that's like a 3 minute 20 second medium. That's a new record for me, definitely. And it happens just as I hit level 95. Let's go check out that Garajo Resource Dungeon. Oh, where is it? Oh, it doesn't, doesn't tell me? I did unlock it, right? Yeah, Garajo Horde Starkle Dungeon. So I've hopped to like 20-something worlds, but finally found a Divine Shark Bubble. Awesome. Uh, going to be doing this to get a lot of food, and then using my Desert Pantheon Aura daily to uh, extend my Divine uh, divine Limit daily. Yeah. Uh, so going to get a lot of food from this, and a lot of cooking XP. Later on, I'm probably going to collect from the Divine Herb uh, 2 and 3s, though. Um, just because those will be really good for my herb lore. Uh, wow. Already collected a full inventory of shark. Uh, that's insane. And I should pick up my Desert Pantheon aura. Did I say Divine Pantheon? Desert Pantheon, the, uh, Premier Club aura. And you commune it and you get a double daily limit. So I drank a Dwarven Stout matured. Uh, had one in the bank for some reason. Uh, now I'm making Dragon Vein Bolts. Had to boost to the 82 smithing, of course. Uh, then afterwards, going to use the uh, banner boost for the day on boosting fletching. I got 78 fletching now. Uh, did a little bit of bowstrings, and I did a lot of uh, uh, making maple shield bows. Uh, but now I can make myself some Dragon Vein Bolts. So, doing General Grogor for the first time. Uh, finished a Reaper assignment, and that's the 20th assignment with 10 extra reaper points and it uh, gave me 21 which it was like a 22 kill reaper task so 21 reaper points is pretty good uh... I'm gonna stay here a little bit longer but haven't gotten any drops yet um, so maybe i can stay here long enough to get like one piece of bandos alright so that's the loot from the first trip um, a few super restores 70 coal, 55 addy, 100 magic, logs, and uh... Like 40 limpwort roots. It's pretty terrible. Uh, let's see how many kills it ended up being. Uh, General Grardor. That's actually my first trip to Grardor ever. Like, in all of my time playing this game. Uh, 35 kills. That's pretty good. Uh, but pretty terrible loot. Just got fairly lucky on a Rarari task. Got a Secundus and two Primus keys and like 112 kills or something. And, uh, there's that hand cannon done. Invention gains. Level 60, come on. Yeah, there we go. 60 unlocked. That means augmented item maximum level 15. Uh, as well as the bank stander, which may be something useful. And the mind uh, monkey mind control helmet, which means uh, I never have to pay for uh, a butler uh, to do construction with. Uh, so yeah, gonna go unlock these things at uh, Invention and yeah, I'm gonna put those back into my Sun Spear and maybe I can actually use my Chaotic Crossbows at some point. Uh, I did get a new um, Reaper task and it is now Criara which I will do, uh, I don't know when though. Starting off the day with some Slayer, I think I might turn today into a day of PVM, not sure. Uh, but doing some elves, and I got a super rare drop table of 288 mahogany planks. Uh, that's pretty cool. Apologize for that first clip. Uh, it's really early in the morning, and when it's early in the morning, I have a lot of trouble speaking. My throat is really dry. Um, but here we go. 
got a hard clue casket, elite clue casket, and then a triskel, uh, crystal triskelion fragment to uh, insert over here. I realized I had both of these in my bank, and then I got the third uh, trisk drop at elves, and I was like, wait a second, don't I have clue scrolls already? So I should, yeah, I should go run those so I can actually get drops again. Uh, so let's see. And nothing. Eh. Oh, wow. Hey, palm tree seed, you seed. Uh, I appreciate that uh, quite a bit. Yeah, 400k uh, GE value. Uh, let's see what the Trisk gives. Let's insert it. Hopefully it'll be uh, like seeds. Oh, wow, 40 runite. That's quite a bit. Yeah. Um, and gonna go run this. Oh, well, I instantly clicked the uh, elite clue, but that was a reward. I couldn't re-roll it, and uh, poison damage took me out of the... Uh, or, I don't know, some kind of damage took me out of the, the reward screen. So, I figured it was time to stop delaying this, relying on other sources of XP. There we go. 92 prayer. And uh, it's also time to set a goal. 95, let's see. 2.2 million XP. Um, that's a decent amount of way. Uh, it's like 20 something million gold. Uh, but I'm already up to 2.5 mil right now, so it shouldn't take too long. And, uh, you know, if I keep pushing for like Untrimmed Slayer, which is something like a side goal, uh, you know, by the time I get Untrimmed Slayer, I'm definitely going to have 25 mil. I mean, that's 2.5 mil from like three tasks. So, uh, yeah. But uh, I got a Celestial Dragon's Task. Going to go repair my chaotic crossbows. I forgot to do it whenever I bought them. Uh, then go take out some dragons. Just got my first drop from the Celestial Dragon's Task. It's a Dragon Rider cape. That's my first piece of that armor set. It's really going to come in handy for when I do the superheat form. Uh, oh, I should turn off my quick prayers. Uh, after this task, I'm going to start doing a day of PVM for my series. Uh, or really, I'm just going to be streaming, uh, and I might coincide with a, a day of PVM. I don't know. Something. I'm going to do something. And it's not going to be all recordy for the Road to Comp series, uh, but it's going to be a lot of combat. Yeah. Well, today I opted for a few hours of streaming, doing uh, Slayer and Bossing, instead of doing uh, a day of PVM, like I said. And uh, I'm going to show off a few things that I got. Uh, one is, I think you already saw it, but uh, Armadillo Godsword. I got the hilt. Also, over in this tab, booyah, Armadillo Chain Skirt. I freaked out when I saw that drop. It was <sighs> the most shocking thing. So now I have the gloves, the chain skirt, and the hilt all at, uh, what is it, 73? 75 kill count. Uh, pretty good. Also, uh, while I was doing about 20 kills over two trips, uh, I ended up getting Devotion as well as Sacrifice and Transfigure. And I did two more rounds of the Tusca event right before that to get Tusca's Wrath. So now I've got all of those extra abilities too, as well as this extra gear uh, that's going to make my life a lot better. Hopefully soon I'll get the uh, chest piece and then I'll get the pieces from Bandos, which my new Reaper assignment is Bandos. Um, yeah, things are looking up. Uh, got a few levels, I don't know which, uh, but I'm now 93 range, 94 health, 95 magic, uh, 91 slayer, almost 92. I'm going to go back to doing some Slayer at Abbey Demons, because that's my current task. Um, going to be using Equipment Siphons on my Sunspear for the most part, and I think my next goal uh, with in regards to money is, well, I'm keep spending it on farming, uh, of course, every single day doing farming. Uh, but then after that, I'm going to push for 96 Summoning, which is like 25 to 30 mil, uh, and finishing up 95 Prayer, uh, probably through drops at something like KB, uh, QBD, uh, Vendicta, or just using more money on uh, Heffin Hours. Uh, also be doing Agility, which is going to help the, the prayer stack up a little bit. And uh, hopefully before too long, I'll also get Quest Cape. Uh, you can see, that's all I've got left to do. And there's the end of the...
very easy Gower quest. Takes an inordinate amount of time, though. Start of day 88, and got a really new interface uh, set up. Hopefully this will suit me well for bossing. I can see all of my prayers here. I go through all my abilities. I now have a second action bar to use uh, for defensive abilities. And uh, the reason it's copy and paste is because I have a extra keys on my mouse, or extra buttons on my mouse that I'm going to try to utilize uh, for like a shield switch. Um, yeah. I'm gonna, it's going to take a while to get used to this. But, um, you know, I really just I want to learn a new boss today. And to learn this new boss, I have a little bit of stuff to take care of. Uh, which you're going to see in just a moment. It's going to take me some time, but, uh, snap to the next clip. And there's the end of The Light Within. Some really good XP here. Uh, 90k agility, 90k crafting, 90k herblore, which is going to be a level. Uh, 90k prayer, saves me some money. 90k slayer, 90k woodcutting, and 90k div. I also unlocked uh, the superheat form that I can now use. Uh, whoa, div level, slayer level, uh, Eretz. Uh, I can actually make super annies without boosting now. And, all right, charming moths. Also with that, I uh, now have 200 quests complete. If I go here, 200 out of 217. Uh, awesome. Uh, on to the next clip. So I just completed uh, Koshi's Troubles, got the Viridian Balmung now. i um, going to put this XP lamp into Herblor, and uh, I've now started uh, Majorat Mem Memories. Um, I'm going to have to finish it over time, uh, don't really want to do it right now if I don't have to, uh, so I'm just going to bank the Ingrameter, um, but I will get to this eventually and I'll put a clip whenever I finish it. Oh man, I've spent like an hour or two working on this, uh, but finishing up the statue for the week. I know it's a trim requirement, not a normal comp requirement, but the XP weekly is just too good to pass up in my opinion. It's like 6k times 19 or something. Uh, so I'm gonna keep doing this for, well, as long as I'm still motivated to keep doing it. It's also a good way to get me to train the other skills that I don't pay attention to, like thieving or hunter or, you know, whatnot. After all, I'm, I'm almost uh, 77 Hunter now, even, uh, which is Grenwalls, and that's just for paying attention to the uh, statue here. Also, uh, on my way to 75 Thieving, and... yeah. Alright, so that's actually uh, 10 weeks of the statue done, uh, third taken care of, so if I ever go for Trim Comp, there's only 20 weeks left on that time requirement. Nah. And there's the end of Children of Ma, one of the uh, newest quests in the game. And uh, that was 100k agility, 100k divination, and three, uh, two, wait, three? Yeah, three times 100k herblower. Awesome. That's going to be a level. 86, nothing. Actually, nothing on 86? Jeez. But uh, 88 gets me a s extreme attack, so now I get banner boost to start making extremes if I wanted. Oh man, oh yeah, and the uh, Shard of Ma. Oh, and I t completely missed it. That quest reward got me over 100 million total XP. Nice. Really making progress. Alright, killed Vindicta for the first time. Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's rough. Oh man. Nice, got uh, 300 dragon, or 200 dragon bones on the third kill, and the uh, second kill was uh, about 300k of Alx with the ring kite shields. Um, why am I doing Vind? Uh, mostly just because I want to. I, it's just something I feel like doing. It's not really uh, much for the way of progress, but if I get like a, I don't know, like a crest or a lance drop, it's really going to uh, speed up my progression. So, my first uh, full hour, I used Vampirism the entire time. Uh, let's see. Nine Vindicta. Okay. That's not horrible, I don't think. Um, I got two Diamond Drops, a Dragonstone, two Dragon Bones, and I think two Runites. Something like that. Uh, so, yeah, it's alright. Oh, and uh, Rune Kite Shield Drop. 
turning in an Herblord daily challenge. Hopefully it's not uh, too big a waste of brews and I can get some decent stuff back. Wow, almost 50k XP. Love to see that. And uh, hey, 20 Toad Flax turned into 18 Quorms. Uh, not upset about that. And uh, 50k XP. That's pretty good. So did a Bandos Reaper task earlier. Got nothing and like 20 something kills. Uh, but now I uh, did a Barrows Reaper task, which was the one for today. And there's a Carol's Cough, which uh, puts me at one piece of the Carol set, because apparently damn one-handers don't count. Uh, and here's a Darox Helm, which puts me at two pieces of Darox, two pieces of Varax. Uh, nice. Starting off day 89 uh, by burning through all of my dragon hide in my uh, bank, and then I alked it, I turned it into shields and whatnot, and then alked it, made like uh, 1.3 mil, and um, did my daily divine limit, collecting more sharks, got like 200 and something, and time for a half an hour. Doing my weekly Tears of Guthix uh, for, oh wow, yeah that's right, because it's based on uh, the lowest um, XP so now that I have like 5 mil invention XP, it, it went into farming. That's nice. Uh, so yeah, like 43k farming for that. I was expecting to get like 20,000 invention, and it's like, no, eh, that's that's not that great, but nice! Uh, almost a 74 farming, which means I'm about a level away from Harmony Moss. So, my Sunspear hit level 12. It's time to siphon, get 523k. That's pretty good. Invention gains, uh, only a level. Hopefully, yeah, it was most of the next one, too. Only about 20k left to go till then. So, just claimed a reward for some achievements from uh, Explorer Jack, and I got like 924 or 942k? <laughs> it's insane. Um, so, I've been doing a lot of Slayer. I'm up to 159 tasks now, and uh, getting close to 93 Slayer. Um, and I've got an Ascension Creatures task, which is just awesome. Um, yeah, I've been doing all kinds of gains. I can see I'm at 105 million XP now. Just nothing really clip-worthy, like I did a half an hour, and uh, then another half an hour, but one was Agility, one was Pure Prayer. 1.1 uh, 1 .1 mil Prayer away from um, 95, uh, which is what I'm currently shooting for. Uh, then after I get 95, I think I'm going to camp God Wars Dungeon 2 a little bit. Um, but, yeah, I'm just pushing for various goals, doing some Slayer, um, find it really enjoyable to do Slayer, and it's not just, like, dull AFK skilling. Uh, I've got school starting in, like, another week, or, like, a week from now, so, uh, kinda wanna save my AFK stuff for when school starts back up, and I actually have to do, uh, stuff other than RuneScape. Starting day 90, and, uh, onto some Slayer, same as yesterday. Just got PK'd at the Chaos Altar for, like, 30 big bones. I hope that guy enjoys his loot. So, my first and second Dark Beast tasks. Uh, I didn't have enough points uh, to prefer them, but now I can. Uh, the third task. The second one, actually, I had 98 Slayer points, so it was two away. And I was thinking, oh man, can I, just, can I like, do Reaper tasks for bonus Slayer points? Or, like, oh no. Uh, it took forever to get to to finally get them. Like, I'm now level 93, I've only had three tasks of them. Just got a pretty good drop. That's a dark bow right there. It's uh, gonna come in handy. Um, going to use it for, like, uh, augmentation. I think some people use it at a Raxor for things, like to resonance. I, I don't know. Something like that. I just realized these clips are getting a lot, uh, have a lot of time in between them. Uh, but now it's a lot later in the day. Um, still been making progress all day. Uh, up to 94 prayer, about 570k away from 95 uh, for those 95 prayers. Uh, just hit 95 constitution, and I've now hit 95 ranged as well. Uh, so making pretty good progress on stuff. Um, still trying to get my Slayer above my HP, but I don't know if that's ever going to end up happening. Um, but I've now decided that... Uh, to Depending on how my classes go, uh, my current goal is going to be, starting next week, I'm going to get a single 99 every single week. Now, if that means I get two in one week, 
then I can skip a week, you know, but I'm still going to be trying for 199 every single week, and then general gains all throughout the rest. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be my, my goal to max by, like, week 40 or so. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see how that plan goes. And it's that time again. Invention gains. Seems to be a lot of my clips these days whenever I'm uh, disassembling or siphoning something. Um, I've been doing a lot of Slayer and whatnot today, and uh, yeah, slowly grinding through that prayer. Uh, nice, more stuff to research. Ooh, charge drain reduction and junk reduction. That's really good. Just took care of a daily challenge and like my daily divine limit and uh, you know the usual stuff. Uh, turning in the challenge, it's Moss Titans, uh, 21k summoning pretty much for free, and uh, well, that's useless. Um, yeah, pretty nice XP. Start of day 91, working on uh, Eret Task, and I finally have all five pieces to make the Tusca Mask. Uh, so, I think I need to... Oh, it can be given to Slayer Master for some points. Oh, nice. Cool. Uh, but I'm pretty sure... That that is a completionist cape requirement that I now have completed. Uh, let's see. And... Yeah, you must construct a Tusca mask. Uh, so that's taken care of. Also starting out the day with 97 mage. Uh, only two more levels there for my first 99. Hopefully it'll still end up being Slayer, but uh, it seems kind of unlikely. Oh man, it's that time about to tick over. I think I did the math right. I'm sure it's exactly right. Yep. There we go. 95 prayer. The last prayer level I really need. But that's the last for a while. Oh, man. Oh, I can't believe that's done. <sighs> Time to focus on summoning an herb lore now. And, uh, yeah, I guess back to Slayer. After all those gains, I thought it was time for some XP waste. Let's open a hard clue casket. Wow. Okay. Uh, much better. Nice, court summons. That puts me up to like 10 or 11, I think. And, uh, another H. I'm not sure if I already have that H2, but, uh, that's something. Alright, turning in a fletching daily challenge for you shield bows. Expecting good XP. Yeah, there we go, 60k. That's pretty good gains. Oh, uh, and the magic logs as normal. So doing some fishing just because, oh well, it's invention XP, I need to get fishing up for like cave fish and whatnot for more food. Uh, anyway, and um, man, I've been getting really lucky with these golden mystery eggs. Uh, I think I've gone, I've gotten like 30 prawn balls or so, and I've gotten three. One was tuna, which is going to take forever. Um, hopefully I'll get swordfish from Mystery Egg before long. I've uh, gotten salmon, so now I have salmon and the, um, ah, what's the other thing? Trout. And, uh, I also got cave fish, which I think, um, that would normally take quite a while. I may be thinking of the wrong fish. Is cave fish like the 85s? Uh, okay, yeah, I was thinking of the wrong thing, uh, but I, because I want to catch cave fish anyway. Um, you know, three in like 30 of these is pretty lucky. Oh, and then I got a free golden mystery egg for unlocking the uh, last of the prawn perks. Oh, Leaping Sturgeon. That's um one of the last two leaping ones that I need. I've been there for like, I don't know, a while now, and I haven't gotten anything. Uh, do want to do, I think, Great White Sharks and, well, more prawn balls for sure, then Great White Sharks. And I may remove the bait. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, this is all I have left for that uh, comp requirement. I'm probably going to get most of these from catching cavefish and push for like uh, like fish vention all the way to 99, because cavefish are a really good source of food and they're still a decent XP rate, I think. Um, I'm pretty sure they're better than shark, at least. Uh, if they're not, you know, if I'm wrong, then I may just go back to like waterfall fishing at Barbarian or Prif. I don't know. Um, yeah. Almost done with this comp requirement. I've uh, honestly put this off a little too long, but I now have a um, Honed 3. I got kind of unlucky with all of my sharp components. And a Wise 2 Enlightened 2. And that was my first try with uh, Pious components, 5 Pious. 
uh, which is pretty lucky. Uh, so I'm going to put that on here as well, and I'll just use these on my furnace, uh, my fishing rod automatic, until I get um, a good, like, honed 5 furnace 2 uh, from Sharp Components. Oh man, doing an Elf Slayer task. I just got incredibly lucky. That's uh, 160 Onyx Bolts. Let's see, I think it said 1.3 mil. Oh my god. Oh, that's so good. And finishing off the week with an Elite Clue Casket. Something good. Oh man. Armadale Page 4s. Yeah, I'll take that. Uh, I am content with that. I don't want to reroll because I mean a 3.6 mil reward. That's pretty good. And I think the, uh, the Armadale book is like the best of them. Something like that. Maybe that's just an OSRS thing. Uh, you can see I was doing a Elves task still. Um, so yeah, I'm ending up the week here. Uh, this this week's video may be uploaded a little bit later than normal. I try to aim for it to uh, upload and be public by around noon on Fridays. Uh, that is central time. Um, but it might be a little bit later because uh, tomorrow is my girlfriend and my uh, anniversary. Uh, and we're going to be, uh, you know, going on an anniversary date, um, and I may not be able to fully edit the video, uh, by the time she comes over in the morning. Um, so yeah, uh, sorry if the upload is a little bit late, um, but anyway, thanks for watching, that's the end of this week, uh, I should point out I'm 2258 now, and 111 million, uh, 111 million, uh, so it's pretty good, I had like a... 23 24 million xp week something like that i'm not entirely sure you can look at the beginning of the video and uh check the validity of that statement um but i'm, I'm really happy with the progress of my account so far and uh as i said earlier I'm going to be trying to get a 99 uh every single week from now on um maybe slayer will be the first one too uh okay thanks for watching uh see you next week guys